Hello, Wentworth. Shalom. Hello. Uh, with your permission, we'll start with a quick uh, association game. Uh, okay. Absolutely. Shoot. Uh, prison break. Michael Schofield. Hollywood. Hollywood. Um, holy war. Just freedom. Uh, rights. Devotion. Loyalty. Television. Uh, rent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, before you became an actor, you went to Princeton. Yes. You studied English literature, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Uh, that means that your route to stardom wasn't uh, the one that most actors uh, go through. Can you tell us a little bit about that? No, it was pretty circuitous. Um, I wanted to be an actor as a kid, but uh, I was raised with a healthy respect for education, um, achievement in that direction. Um, my parents wanted me to have the, the best education possible, so uh, it was uh, expected that I'd go to a school like Princeton. Um, and uh, while at Princeton, I began to think of acting as a hobby, not a career, not something to take seriously post-graduation. Um, so it took me a while to, to get back around to this thing that I loved originally. Um, which is why I started working uh, in the business on the other side of the camera. I worked in development for, uh, for a couple of years and then was a temp for six years at studios and networks. Um, and that gave me a really valuable um, and I think different perspective on the business than most actors. It just made clear to me how collaborative this effort really is. Um, the fact that we make uh, a TV show every week um, that we, we take 52 pages of script um, and squeeze it into an, uh, an eight-day shoot uh, with the help of 150, 200 people is, is a miracle. And uh, there's a lot that goes into the creation of Michael Schofield. What you see um, in your average episode of Prison Break is not just my work represented, but the work of, of dozens and dozens of people. And uh, I think that knowledge, hanging on to that knowledge, is important because it keeps you, it keeps you grateful. It keeps you aware that um, there are a lot of people who go into the making of you. There are a lot of people who can take credit for your success besides yourself. The character of Michael Schofield seems to me that he's, he's a bit different from other heroes uh, in similar shows. Hmm. Would, you, would you agree? Well, I would, actually, um, I would actually argue that Michael has more in common with your average TV hero these days than one might okay. think. I think if you look at Lost or 24 uh, or The Shield or a number of other American series, you find lead characters, uh, good guys, that have the um, traits of bad guys, that have certain rough edges to them, that do questionable things, that uh, are not afraid to get their hands dirty for a good cause. In that sense, I think Michael Schofield is sort of in keeping with where we're at in terms of our perception of, of what is heroic, or rather what is believable about the heroic. And how much do you think of all these uh, characteristics uh, stems from you? How much from the script? Well, I would say that um, the script at this point is, is largely a, a blueprint. Um, it, it tells me where the character needs to go. And within that context, um, I'm free to sort of shade him as I will. Uh, find uh, beats of, of, of humor or, or humanity that uh, might not necessarily be in the script as written. And to the writer's credit, I'm allowed free reign when it comes to that sort of thing. If I decide that a line should be tweaked, then I'll simply tweak it. Uh, how does the fact that you don't know where the, pl the plot is going how does that uh, change the way you act uh, each scene? Mm, that's a great question. I think it's the beauty and the challenge of working on TV that you don't know the end of the story. When you're working on feature film, you have one script, you know, the beginning, the middle, and the end. Um, with uh, television drama, you uh, have to make your set of choices that's appropriate to the episode you're working on. And then the next episode that you get might directly contradict all of those choices. And it's your job as the actor to make that work somehow. And um, at its worst, it doesn't work. At its best, you wind up with a contradictory, complicated character, which is how most people are in real life. Inevitably, in a show uh, like uh, Prison Break, where there are so many twists and turns, it seems that the, the story is going on the verge of the... the plot is going on the verge of the implausible. <laughs> the verge. <laughs> this is the verge. This is Prison Break. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're over here. Um, 
The show has always been implausible. Um, it's our strength, and according to a lot of critics, perhaps, mm -hmm. our, our weakness. But uh, we're a comic book show um, that we take and play and execute very seriously. Um, and that's always been the case, and I'm sure will be until the very final episode. <laughs> Uh, I'll go and I'll ask some uh, viewer questions, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, Adi is asking, do you think there's a chance for redemption for Michael? Can he go back to being uh, a normal guy with a normal life again? I think that door is closed, unfortunately. I think, I think with Sarah went Michael's chance at redemption. I think, I think Sarah represented a, a happy ending, if you will, the two of them riding off into the sunset, and that would make the sacrifice and the suffering uh, okay. But with her blood on his hands, I don't think uh, evening the score is possible. I don't think he'll ever be totally clean. I don't think there's such a thing as going back to the way things used to be. Um, I think he might try. I think that might make for some interesting drama, perhaps somewhere in the middle of season four. But uh, uh, I imagine that he'll find that easier said than done. Mm. That would be a big challenge for you then, uh, coming in the, in the fourth season. I think so. To 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 hold Michael's ground as 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 one of the show's heroes, and yet to to acknowledge everything that's happened to him, um, how far he's come as a man, as a person, as a soul. Um, I think that's where where season four lives and breathes for me. Okay, thank you, Wendell Miller, thank for you. this uh, video chat. It's a pleasure.